Well, I had always been involved in, in values clarification um, in my teaching experience. And as a new principal, I saw that there were some teachers that were really, really involved with um, character education, values clarification, and those that weren't. So I really wanted to unite the staff and bring the staff together to address you know, some of the discipline and behavior problems that we were experiencing. And the staff really wanted you know, uh, answers too. They wanted a program, they wanted um, better discipline, uh, they wanted uh, parents more involved in what was going on. So um, I started doing some research, I was talking to people, and I found a principal who was doing character education on Long Island uh, in the uh, Babylon Memorial School District and he was a CEP winner as well and I said well let me contact him and let's see where we can go from there. So I wound up taking a group of teachers to Memorial, uh, Babylon Memorial School District and we spent a day uh, with his staff going into classrooms talking to students, talking to teachers, talking to the administrators, talking to some of the parents. And I found that, that there was a common language that the children were using, that they, I, I really loved the interaction between the teachers and the, and the students, and the students and the students. And we all had a wonderful feeling when we left that school. And we came back, and the core group that I had um, presented to our faculty and they felt that there was really something there that they could uh, grasp onto. So we decided to have a committee, a character education committee, to start exploring character education, values, what we believed, and to pull in parents uh, and students and some of the community members into our committee. When we did that, we started um, really uniting as a staff and looking at what was really important in terms of what we wanted our, our kids to be able to do. We sent out a survey to parents, to students, uh, to the teachers, uh, told the staff members to see what is it, what are the values that we really want our kids to be able to learn and come away with when they leave our school. And we came up with four basic pillars, respect, responsibility, honesty, and friendship. And then we decided, we, we, we didn't have a program, and at the time, this was like seven, eight years ago, there wasn't a vast uh, resource library of uh, curriculum materials. So we decided to look at literature and see what was in our libraries, see what books we had, and we formulated um, a program around literature. And we took our first pillar of respect and uh, selected books uh, to focus on respect, responsibility, um, citizenship, okay, honesty, and friendship. And that's how we started. We started small. I also had a teacher that was trained in morning meeting and I asked for volunteers that who would like to uh, look at him doing morning meeting in the classroom. And we started very small. I had a, a group of maybe six teachers that were interested in learning about morning meeting and how to really develop a caring community. Those six people started morning meeting, went through a whole year of training and talking together and sharing with the staff. Uh, within a year, I had um, tripled the number of teachers doing morning meeting in my school. And the main um, reason was they saw that the classes that were doing morning meeting had a very caring community of students that children were starting to speak to each other um, very courteously. They were really um, working together um, as, a, as a class. Um, and it, it started changing the climate of the school.